Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Mulate. And at the moment, I am toe up. So let me tell you pretty much how my night went. Like, pretty much this vlog is really about me kind of like venting. And it doesn't have anything to do with, you know, like the alcohol or anything like that. It's really something that I've been feeling for like a really long time. And, um... I wasn't able to pretty much like really explain it or really talk about it to anybody. Um, I just really been talking to anybody about it. Pretty much what's been going on is I'm I'm really I'm not depressed but I'm depressed. And for people who don't know, I've been dealing with depression for about seven years now, six, seven years now. Um, it started when my father passed away, of course. I was 15 I was 14 going on 15 when my father passed away um, in 2012 around it was two weeks before Christmas that my father passed away and um, I'm not okay with it so um, I don't know but once that happened it pretty once yeah once that happened that's pretty much when I just went into like a deep, deep hole. I would go in my room and I would cry to myself and call out for help. Um, like literally I'll be crying and I'll say, somebody please help me. Somebody please help me. Like, you know, I felt like I didn't know exactly what was going on like in my life. So it was pretty much like it was, I don't know, it was really just stressful just been feeling like that like you know I need somebody to help me I don't know what's going on in my life like still I kind of feel like I don't know what's going in my going on in my life but um I try so very hard to like put a smile on my face and you know let people know that I'm okay because I am okay like you know I'm I'm still living I'm able to do the things that I want to do it's just hard you know but um pretty much how today been going um well, I'm not even going to say today. Ever since my birthday, for those of you who don't know, who didn't watch the last vlog, um, I turned 21 on the 25th of September, which was about two weeks, a week, two weeks ago. And um, it was just that, like, this birthday was really, really, really stressful. Um, so I ended up going to Texas the weekend of my birthday and that turned out to be I'm not going to say a disaster but it turned out to be like a kind of like a waste of time kind of trip um and I went with Nene and Maya um but it was just it was just a lot it's Texas like no offense to anybody who's from Texas that watch me they don't know how to fucking drive they drive super duper fast and I don't understand why they drive so fast when they don't know how to drive so and it was also like everything was so far out it was really just like it was too much so um at the day after my party is when I started feeling like what the fuck is going on in my life like I started getting into my depressed mode so, pretty much ever since the 23rd, I've been depressed. Um, today, I don't know. I just woke up like, what is life? I don't I don't know why, but I just woke up like, what is life? So, um, I don't know, but I was, I ended up going to sleep. I ended up staying at Nini's house. So, um, that was kind of like something like, you know, usually she can uplift my spirit, but this time it just wasn't. You know, like, it wasn't that kind of day or night or whatever you want to call it with us. Um, nothing happened between us. It was just like, you know, she wasn't able to uplift me. I was still feeling down and out. So we ended up coming to my house and, you know, we ran a couple of errands. And I don't know, I just was feeling like, I don't know, I just had that feeling like, what is life? So, um... We ended up going our separate ways after a couple of hours. She went with her family. I stayed home with mine. I went and got my god baby. And that was amazing. I haven't seen her in like a month. I haven't gotten her in like a month. I ain't going to say seen her. Because I see her pretty much every week. I just haven't had, like, was able to get her and take care of her or babysit her or whatever you want to call it in like a month. But anyway, so I got her. 
and I was spending time with my family today, but it still was kind of like, you know, like weird. Like I was having this weird feeling. I don't know, but every time I get like this, I always want to go out. And I wasn't able to do that. And lately, that's all I've been wanting to do is go out, party, have fun. Like, I don't know why, but every time I get in that mood, I always just want to go out. Maybe it just helps stimulate my mind and help me get my mind off things. The liquor just get me into a whole nother place. I be in, like, a certain zone. And either I want to dance or I want to sleep. And either one is fine with me because, shit, I could take some fucking sleep. And, of course, I need to dance, you know, because I haven't even been putting anything out. i really been vlogging a lot lately, but I haven't been putting any dance videos out. So, that pretty much was my mood today. Um, I don't know. i just been feeling like I'm kind of, like, alone, in a sense. And I feel like... I don't have anybody to talk to and I don't have anybody to relate and when you have somebody to relate to the situation that you're going through I feel like it helps you a lot and I haven't had that like nobody understands what I go through and I don't understand what anybody else go through well I'm not even going to say that I can relate to what everybody else go through but I don't feel like nobody can relate to what I go through so, me trying to vent to, like, friends or anything like that, like, that don't really help me. And, excuse me, I've been, I went and got a daiquiri, and I asked him for an extra shot. And then he gave me more than an extra shot, but, um, I don't know, I just, having somebody to relate to and understand exactly what you're going through, I feel like, that helps me a lot. Because I can vent to you and I can tell you what's going on. And if I don't have the answers, maybe like that person will. Because they went through what the, the same thing that I went through. And they can tell me like, oh well, this is what I did to help me. So maybe you should try it. And if it don't work for you, you know. You know, like give me another alternate. Like, you know, something that's going to help me feel better. But I don't know. Um, I just haven't been having that. And don't get me wrong, like, my friends, my friends and my family, like, they're great and everything, but the only thing that they can tell me is continue to pray, which is what I always do, and, you know, just try to live life the best way that I can, which is something that I always do. So, it's like... That don't really help me because that's something that I know. I know that I have to continue on with my life because I'm still here for a purpose. And I know that I have to pray to God. Like, that's my God. And I know that he can get me through anything. Um, I don't know. It just... I don't know. It just feel kind of like... It gives me a relief when I can talk to somebody and they can actually understand, you know. Or give me advice on what I should do. But pretty much, like, today, after, like, um, I went and got my god baby and everything, I took her home about 9, and I came back home. And the worst thing that a depressed person can ever, ever, ever feel is the feeling of not having anybody to be there with her at the time that they need her or him. Tonight, I needed my friends, and nobody was there. I mean, I text my best friend. I asked her what she was doing. She was busy. She was running around. That's something that I could have, you know, been okay with because I love riding around and just chilling and listening to music and just vibing because it helped me think, and it helped me get through, like, certain things. But, you know we didn't link up and then I text my other friend and she had other plans and you know I could be mad at her because she already had other plans and that's like me if I have other plans I'm not gonna cancel my plans you know unless it's really 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 important you know but I didn't tell her that I needed her so I didn't expect for her to drop what she was doing you know to come to my rescue but you know it still was kind of like you know I did still like told her like I'm lonely you know I still kind of put it out there like hey I'm lonely like I need a friend but it didn't take so I wasn't about to press it and then Nini's 
she was with her family and I expected for her to be home at a certain time and she wasn't there. I ended up going to the house to pick up my shoes for an event tomorrow, but um, the shoes was locked in her car and she was gone. So I pretty much was, you know, like whatever. And like, I don't know, like my other friend, she's pregnant. Like, you know, it's nothing that she really can do. She have a whole kid to worry about, you know, like, so it was really nothing that she can do. And I don't blame her at all, but it really was like tonight. I just really realized, well, I ain't gonna say realized, but I kind of accepted me being by myself, which brings me to this. By me not having anybody to talk to or hang out with tonight, I ended up going to the daiquiri shop by myself, and it felt so good to be able to walk in the daiquiri shop with my own ID. Like, bitch, I'm 21. Let me in this bitch. And, you know, I was able to buy a drink. Like, it didn't feel much of a difference, but it did feel good, the fact that I was actually legal. I was by myself, and I bought a drink by myself, you know? So, I ended up going by the daiquiri, and I was just like, fuck it. Like, nobody want to hang out with me. I'm going to hang out by myself. When I got I soaked in the tub. I fell asleep because the water felt so good. You know how you have those baths and they feel so good? That was one of them baths, and I haven't had one of those in a long time. So, that was cool, but I listened to my music. I ended up pausing my music. I put Netflix on. I watched Shameless, like two episodes of Shameless. Then I brought my daiquiri in the bathroom with me. I wasn't supposed to finish this tonight. I was really supposed to just drink like a little bit of it tonight and finish the rest tomorrow. But whatever. It didn't happen like that. So I was drinking my daiquiri. I was in the tub just soaking. And I had me a pretty, pretty bath bomb. You know, like I was just chilling and I was just thinking like it's okay for me to be alone. And it's a lot of people who is not okay to be alone. And, like, it's a lot of people who need other people around them in order to enjoy themselves, in order to make them feel great about themselves, make them feel happy, you know, or just, to, like, they need other people to have fun. Like, they can't have fun by themselves or themselves. And tonight, I just... I don't know, like, me being in the tub, I really thought about a lot. And every time I take a bath or every time I have me time, I always get the opportunity to think and really, like, uplift my, my own self. And I don't need other people to have fun. I wanted to go out tonight so very bad. I haven't been out in, I don't know how long. It's probably been a month or two since I've been out. Well, I'm not even going to say a month or two. It's been a couple of weeks because me and Nene recently went out and I have to get that vlog together or whatever. Because I vlogged that night and it really was fun. But I haven't put, like I haven't edited or anything. I haven't been taking care of my business. But, um, I don't know, like, I guess the reason for me recording this video at 1.48 a.m. in the morning, you know, in the morning, is because I guess I just have the time to think and really just accept the fact that I'm human nobody could ever understand what I go through they can relate or they can give me advice and they can have their opinions but at the end of the day nobody knows exactly what I go through every day day to day you know and the fact that I was able to hop in my car and go buy me a daiquiri or a little drink or whatever and just come home and relax. And I even got a couple of dance videos um, tonight. And I'm, you know, I'm going to go through those videos to see which ones I like. And they might get posted tomorrow or some shit. Like, I don't know. But I was really able to just have time to myself. Focus on what I want. Focus on the things that I want to come to me. And I just had the time to just... I don't know, like, just love me. And I haven't been able to love me in a long time. So, I don't know, like, tonight was really, really worth it. And like I said, it's not the alcohol that's got me talking. I really just haven't been having anybody to talk to. And I don't know, I know a lot of people go through the things that I go through. I suffer from depression and anxiety. It's really, really hard, upsetting. And most of all, embarrassing for someone to be in a space where 
They feel like they got their whole life ahead of them. And then, like, you know, they just, they're standing by this tree. And then, like, this tree is just full of life. And then all of a sudden, the leaves on the tree just fall one by one. And it's just one situation at a time, one situation at a time. And sometimes more leaves fall at one time in one minute in 30 seconds. And you feel like your life is over. And I go through that. I literally feel like I have my whole life ahead of me. I'm doing things that people my age don't even do. I'm 21 and I'm talented as hell. I can sing when I want to. And the reason why I stay when I want to is because I don't really take it serious. But I can take it serious. I can dance my ass off. Even though I had a minor setback, I'm coming up, you know. And I feel like my dancing is getting better every time I, you know, bust a move. And... I don't know, it's just like me knowing all the great qualities in my life and knowing what I can do and knowing what I'm capable of and just, you know, in a blink of an eye, something just comes into my life. Any type of obstacle just comes into my life and it just knocks me down and it makes me feel like I'm nobody. It makes me feel like everything that I want in my life, I can't get. And I know a lot of people deal with that shit and... Nobody can ever make us feel like, you know, we're worth the shit. That's, you know, like nobody can ever make us feel like that except for ourselves. And I don't know, maybe I'm just venting to let other people know that they're not alone. Like you're not alone. Everybody else, I'm not going to say everybody else, but certain people go through the same things that you go through. It's just the way that you handle it is what makes you different. Excuse me. But, um... I don't know, man, like, I don't know. I just, I'm grateful that I was able to have tonight to myself. And I haven't been able to dance for me in a long time. And tonight I was able to do that. And I wasn't able to sit down and have time to myself and reflect on the positive things that I've done recently or the negative things that I've done recently and tonight I was able to do that so it just felt good I mean what I can say is if you are suffering from depression or anxiety having time to yourself is key when you're able to chill out think to yourself about the good things that you did in your life and the bad things that you did in your life And to move forward from those things, you know, I just feel like that helps you a whole lot. Sometimes talking to other people don't help. And and I just feel like the best way for me to get over certain things in my life is for me to just be by myself. And when you're by yourself, I feel like that's when you actually learn who you are. You discover more about yourself. And you fall more in love with the person who you are. And at the end of the day, that's what you're supposed to do. Fall in love with the person who you are. Because you are you. And nobody else can help shape you, mold you, and make you do anything that you don't want to do but you. So, I'm really just thankful that I had today to myself to really just, like, think. And I was able to eat some snow crabs. And I was able to hang out with my god baby and my brothers and my sister. And even my mama, even though she get on my nerves. But... I still was able to have that day to myself today. And I don't know, it was really worth it. And my car light been on for 22 minutes now. And I hope that my battery don't go with it. So what I'm going to do is turn my car on. Let it run for like a couple of seconds. I'm finna go up in the house. I'm finna eat. And I'm finna go to sleep. And um, I don't know, I just really... I really just wanted to, like, share that with certain people because it's a lot of, like, I haven't been putting out dance videos, and the vlogs that I've been putting out, it probably haven't been funny or anything like that, but I don't know exactly what you guys expect from me. I can only give you what I said that I was going to give you, and that was the real me, and right now, I'm tipsy as hell, and I'm sitting here rambling and venting to, you know, strangers about my life. But that's who I am, and that's what I decided to do. But um, thank you guys for the people who do watch me and for the people who do support me and expect big things from me. Big things are coming. I'm just trying to get my 
anxiety under control. I'm depressed, but it's not as bad as what it usually be. Right now, I'm really just, I really just have a whole lot of anxiety. And I'm surprised that I haven't cried yet. I think it's the alcohol, but that's good because I haven't cried or anything like that today. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get that under control. And once I get that kind of, you know, semi under control, then I'll start, you know, coming out. But like I said, tonight I actually had time to, like, focus on myself. And I was able to get a couple of dance videos out. So hopefully I'm going to review them tomorrow when I'm sober. And if I like them, shit, I'm going to post them. And what I ask for you guys is to continue to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Continue to watch me. Continue to support me. Like, thumbs up, and comment. Please comment. Because if you guys don't comment, I don't know if I'm doing something right. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Criticism motivates me. I'm going to just put it like that. Criticism motivates me. So if you guys comment and tell me what you like and what you dislike, that's good for me. That's going to help me make my videos better. And it's going to make me, you know, be a better YouTuber. And I haven't been consistent. And I apologize for that. But I'm really trying. Like I said, today was just a step forward into a better, you know, me. So, hopefully from tonight on out, I'll be good. I'll be straight. And I'm sorry if I'm boring you with my story tonight. But like I said, I really just haven't been having anybody to talk to. And I also wanted you guys to understand that if you go through the same shit that I go through, you're not alone. So, thanks you guys for watching. Subscribe. Don't worry about my wig. I was dancing and it kind of went like everywhere. And but um subscribe 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 like thumbs up and comment bitches for real okay and tate is out i'm gonna go to sleep